Hello and welcome to the Trendy Coffee Podcast with me, James Hammond. I'll be bringing you trendy coffees from all around the world in any city, any country, anywhere. Grab yourself a trendy coffee, strap in and join me on my journey as I seek out trendy coffees all around the world. On today's episode, I am in, guess where, that is Venice. I'm about to go for a trendy coffee. I'm in Mark Square, which is pretty cool. Look at this, 360 degrees. And I'm gasping, gasping for a coffee. Now this place is gonna be trendy, but well known, but is one of the oldest coffee houses in Italy, and definitely one of the oldest in Venice. So I can't wait to go and check it out. It's a recommendation too. So let's go on a journey. arrived at Cafe Florian, 1700s old cafe, with some real historic people over the years, and there is a queue to go in, of course there is. Lots of seats outside though, but not the best they sent outside. But let's go in, let's check it out, and let's get a trendy coffee. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, it's quite strong. Harry on the dark side. Very good. And you get the plethora of stuff here. You get hot water with it, cold water, milk, sugars, whatever you need. And it's right in the heart of Venice. Now, this has been frequented by some various historical people in the past. Hemingway, Lord Byron, uh, even Casanova back in the day, as this is one of the cafes that only allowed women back in the day, so no doubt he was influenced to come here. So if you come to Venice, you've got to come here for coffee. If you don't know these guys are open from 9 to 12 a.m. all around here, and you're probably going to have to queue to get in, probably to 10 to 15 minutes to get in. As I said, this coffee is expensive, so don't expect a cheap coffee here. It's going to be 11 euros for people Americano and upwards for any other type of coffee. Of course, built in 1720, it's going to be some serious history here. So you've got to look around, enjoy the atmosphere, enjoy your surroundings. And of course, if you're part of Venice, why wouldn't you want to come here? If you took a flight or boat into Venice, probably going to arrive at the train station or near there and it's going to be probably 10, 15 minute walk if you're quick, probably 20 if you're going to leisure pace. One thing I can't do here that the locals do or tourists do is walk slowly. I just can't do it. People seem to meander around very, very casually. For the trendy coffee, this is super trendy because the history, who was here, taste the coffee. The cup size, the saucer, and also the trendy water cup. Look at this. Don't get that in Vancouver, that's for sure. Anyways, Pops Venice, come to this cafe. I'll do some more videos of outside and in. Should be pretty decent if you look around. You've got to come and also let me know what you think below in the comments of what the price is in terms of the coffee, but also we think of the surroundings. If you want to hear more about Venice, check out my other podcast with Monica Cesarato last night. Uh, I've released it today, so you can see and hear exactly what locals do and what they recommend in Venice. Cheers. I don't normally do 
touristy stuff and traveling in general, especially when it comes to coffee, because I just think there's trendier places to go. But I did enjoy my time in Cafe Florian, because you have to come here in Venice just because of the history, the context, and of course, being the second oldest coffee shop in the world, you're going to have to check it out. So it's definitely worth visiting and paying 11 euros 50 if you have that spare if you come to Venice. But as you can say, look at the surroundings. I mean, this history here is incredible. So I will say it is trendy. You have to come and visit, you have to come and do the coffee. And I'm going to give a trendiness rating score of 8.3. I'm not sure if that's too low, um, but the fact the history, the people who have been there before me, the coffee tasted all right. Did it taste 10 euros difference in terms of other coffees? Absolutely not. Um, is that because I'm not an expert? Could be, but from the coffees I've tasted in the lifetime, that was just about not worth it for the difference of price. But come here, take it off, go and check it out. And the inside is awesome. All the paintings on the wall, the gold, etc. Got to be done. And look at this. Awesome. Just don't ask for a cappuccino after 11 a.m. Cheers. Do you fancy supporting the podcast today? You can head to my T Public affiliate link in the description below, where you can help support the podcast by buying T-shirts, mugs, wall art, or whatever you want. Simply click the link, choose what you want, and buy it today. And this really helps podcasts gain a bit of traction going forward. As you can see, I'm wearing my new T-shirt, and I absolutely love it. Get stuck in, and thank you so much. Subscribe today on YouTube. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and you can also rate and review on any of your podcast platforms that you use for your podcasts. Thank you.